Hello everyone and welcome to Not Your Perfect Yogi channel. Uh, today is day 6 from the Yoga for Weight Loss 21 Days Challenge and today we're going to focus on the hips. Uh, so it's going to be a bit of a slower workout again, opening the hips, uh, allowing for more flexibility and also the hips are the place where we actually store a lot of our worries and our stress from during the day so working with the hips and opening them up is a good way to release tension from your body so let's start by um, taking one vinyasa into a downward dog so inhale lift the palms up towards the ceiling exhale lower down touch the floor inhale lift up halfway exhale step back to plank and from plank we're lowering down in chaturanga dandasana Inhale, looking up, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. And here we're stretching the legs a bit, right, left, right, left again. You know, the drill. <laughs> bringing the shoulders away from the ears. Bringing first the right knee to the floor, then the left, the right, the left, the right, the left. I'm saying it the other way around. <laughs> Um, just feeling the calf muscles stretching, feeling the hamstring stretching. And from here we're going to pick up the leg, the right leg again, as high as it goes. Let's just work on pushing it up, 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 as much as we can. And pull it back down and lift it up and pull it back down. I'm just pulling it to my chest and lift it up and pull it back down. Feel a bit how your hips are opening more and more at each time. Pull it up this time even a bit more and back down and just release it. Let's do the same with the left one so lift it up and pull it down lift it up and pull it down, up once more, and pull it down. This time we're going to take the right leg, we're going to step it to the front of the mat, and once we reached the front of the mat, we're just going to drop the left knee down, and let's just lift up and push a bit into the knee. Push into that hip joint. Feel, feel a bit your left side opening. Feel a bit your right side, your right hip working, connecting. Take one deep inhale in your belly and exhale. And you're stretching passively. From here, putting the palms on the floor and we're going to bring this foot to one side. So we're going to drop the knee down and bring the foot, if we can, parallel. If you find this to be difficult, let's just bring the foot here, wherever it's, it's suitable for you. If, you're fine, if you have very flexible hip, uh, hips, you might want to bring it further up so it's parallel to the body. And we're slowly, slowly, it shouldn't feel painful, it should just feel a bit stretching. We're putting our palms on the floor, we're coming to a pigeon position. So, first being here, down, working on opening the hip to the other side. You can have it as low down as it feels comfortable for you, and just breathing into it. Whenever you feel it is too much, just come a bit higher up or we can just come to a full pigeon position and stay here and work on the back as well. But as we're looking to work with opening the hips, we're trying to stay here for a few more breaths. This is a yin type of exercise that I'm doing. Um, we're used to yo uh, yang practices, so 
more active practices, but a lot can happen just by holding a pose longer than you're used to. Okay, so coming up and lifting off that left knee just so that we can pull the leg back down. Let's maybe take a plank down, inhale it up, exhale, downward facing dog. Again, maybe we want to stretch here a bit. And we're lifting the left leg as high as it goes. And then we're pushing it towards the front of the mat between the two palms. And we're lifting here. Again, try to push that right knee a bit further down the mat so you really get a stretch in your right um, hip and you really feel your left hip also working here. So you're supporting yourself high up here, breathing. From here, releasing the palms again on the floor and bringing the right foot towards the right, uh, the left foot towards the right side of the mat, dropping the knee down. Again, see if you can have it parallel, otherwise just bring it further down in. And we're going to lean forward once more, have it work there. Feel how you're releasing any tension from your left hip and thigh. It might be that you feel a bit of a difference between the right side and the left side. One might be easier than the other. Just notice this. It might be that some thoughts get through your head <laughs> when you don't hear me talking. Just go with them. Just try to relax into the uncomfortableness of the position. Try to try to make it less uncomfortable by just being present with it. We can always lift up a bit. Again, I want my leg more parallel so I can do this. And lower down again. These slower sessions are more meant for us to really dig into our bodies and really feel the body. Really start feeling how we best enjoy our body. So from here coming to a child's pose. Breathing. From the child's pose, we're lifting up again to downward facing dog, pushing a couple of times down, and we're going to keep on lifting the right leg up towards the ceiling, and this time we're taking it to the left side again. So bring it as far as it can go to the left side. Feel the stretch in your belly actually but also in your thigh while you're pushing it towards the left side and keeping it there for a few moments. And releasing and doing the same on the left side this time, lifting it up. As you notice, my left leg goes not as high as the right one. <laughs> this might be the case for you too. And turning it. And push your hip towards the front actually. This is what you want to do here. Push it, push it. And exhale it back down. And from here, 
We're going to come to plank and release it down slowly. Inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog or child's pose. And coming from here, coming to a seated position with crossed legs. So we're going to start to work on opening the hips even a bit further. So bringing them in front of your body, bringing your feet, soles together and pushing them a bit further away from your body. You don't want them so close. You don't want them stuck to your body. And we're just going to slowly round our back and go down towards those feet. Feel what's naturally happening. Feel how the legs are naturally falling to either side. Maybe a bit more, maybe a bit less. Maybe you're touching your head to your feet, maybe not. But this is the aim, to lower down as much as you can. Lifting up and this time bringing the feet closer into the body and trying to open them up as we do with a book. So work on opening the two feet and you'll see that naturally your hips will fall on either side of your body and you're looking into that book. This time we're going to try to bend, but we're going to try to bend with an open back, with a straight back. So opening the hips even more. You might not go very far, but keep your gaze up, keep your back as straight as you can, keep your shoulders away from your head, and you're pushing yourself down. You're breathing here. Keep on opening that book. If you want, you can slightly push your knees down with your elbows. And inhaling it up. And bringing maybe the feet closer to your body. We need to overcompensate for this, so bring them in, hold them tight to your chest. Let's turn to the, this side of the mat. And we're going to do an exercise that's not necessarily fitted for everyone. So wherever you are in this posture, just stay with it. You don't need to, to push yourself too much. So we're coming onto our feet and you want to push your feet to either side and you want to bring your knees as much as you can in taking the calf muscle flesh and the hamstring flesh out of the way and try to bring those knees together and the feet to either side of your body if this feels uncomfortable just sit on your feet here relaxed um, but if you're comfortable with this, the next step is to put your sit bones on the floor, if this works. You can use a cushion under your sit bones, that's a great exercise, or a cushion, a longer uh, bolster, um, all throughout your back. And from here we're going to slowly, slowly start to come back down onto our elbows first. Look how you're feeling all throughout this uh, going down. So if it starts feeling uncomfortable on your knees, then just stop there where you are. And we're breathing into the front side of the legs and the belly. We're maybe letting our head fall towards the back 
And if you feel very, very comfortable here, but only for a very few people that feel very comfortable, otherwise stay wherever you are in the process. I keep on mentioning this, but it's better to be cautious than to be overly confident in a position like this. So you're lowering down and dropping your head towards the floor. Maybe bringing the hands over your head and breathing into your belly. You already feel how your quads are working and stretching. Um, maybe the lower back, you shouldn't feel any tension in the lower back. So if it feels uh, like too much tension, just lift up again. But we're stretching these muscles from the front side of the legs as well. And this is very valuable. And we're breathing here. Three more breaths. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. And one more inhale. And exhale. And putting your hands on your heels again and slowly slowly lifting up once you are up then just slowly come on your heels again and from here bring your legs together and again we're going to go to a child's pose release everything and breathe I was telling you that today is an easy session. It's not quite easy, it's um, slow. <laughs> uh, but we're, we're really extending and working with our hips. Um, but the good thing is we're approaching the relaxation phase. So bring your feet again together, foot soles together. Breathe in and exhale out the palms over your head. Let your knees fall to either side and breathe into your belly. This is one of the good moments where we can start thinking of one good thing that has happened today. One small good thing that we can be grateful for. It must be possible that we have one thing that we really like today. It must be a good meal, a good coffee, anything, a good sensation. Try to, try to think of one thing. You got it? <laughs> now that you got it, try to make it a bit bigger. Try to expand it. Try to make it into a bigger source of joy, into a bigger life, into a bigger happening <laughs> and now once we got it once we're relaxed taking a deep inhale in dropping the palms to either side bringing the knees again together letting the feet fall to either side and going into a shavasana position of relaxation <laughs> this was day six um, of the yoga for weight loss 21 days challenge and I'm going to come back tomorrow with day seven. <laughs> See you all then.